Another case of police misconduct in the city of Baltimore. This is the situation here. A young man by the name of Tion Epps uh, was walking down the street uh, and he knocked on a door, which ended up being his cousin's house, uh, and walked in the house. Uh, a police officer was following him uh, and knocked on the door and told the people that were there, uh, him and his cousins, that he needed to enter. He wanted to speak to the owner of the home. Mm -hmm. Well, they told the police officer that the owner of the home was not there. Uh, and so the police officer wanted to come in, wanted to come in without a warrant. So they know the law. They're like, no, you're not coming in without a warrant. So, you know, a situation ensues, and that's where the video picks up. So let's show you that. Uh, you not saying shit, man. Fuck is you digging for? Be calm. No, I don't have a gun. This is our house. You man. We live here, yo. You got my cousin, yo. We live here, yo. Yo, wait, wait, wait. We live here. That's real crazy. Yo, that's that's real crazy. No, see, I got it. He went. He came in our house. He tried. He tried going up in our house just to be knocking on the door. All right, back up, back up. What is? How can he run running in our house? Yo, crazy. Yo, no, yo, no. That's that's real crazy. I mean, there's so there's so much in that video that I have a problem with. So much. The officer that had his arm in the door. Right. That was purposeful. Yes. He they, knew what yes. he he mm -hmm. knew what he was doing, and the neighbor was the one who said, "Just close the door." Yeah. But. The, the the young man yeah. was he made I a heads up was, decision by not doing that yeah. because he said like I'm not about to touch him right. so he can say we Assault. assaulted him right. mm -hmm. and that's exactly what the officer was trying to incite right. he was trying to incite them to close the door right. by holding his hand by right holding his hand the right frame. there in the door frame right. <laughs> coincidentally the owner of the home her name is Tawanda McLaurin she's a retired police officer for the city of Baltimore wow. Maybe that's why these uh, these gentlemen knew their rights, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they knew their rights because of that. He was charged with uh, disorderly conduct, right? So then later on, <laughs> so hilariously, uh, the Baltimore Sun, they reported that authorities opted not to press charges. Not to press charges. Now, it seems like this happened after the video surfaced. So they were confident in those charges beforehand, yes, right? Yes, yes. They charged them and then they, oh, well, we're not, we're opting not to, you know, go forward with the Oh, charges. so they want to go, they want a gold star? Right. So it's like, you know, we're doing you a favor yeah. by not um, pressing charges on something that's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. And then later on, they said that they admitted their mistake. mistake. A mistake? A mistake? Did he like, did his knee like mistakenly go into his back or something? I don't know if he had his knee in his back, but like, did he fall on him? Did he like the cuffs just, the cuffs just magically, you know, went around his wrist? And he mistakenly got transported <laughs> to the jail. <laughs> to the I mean, jail and charged by mistake. Like, really? Like, putting on your shirt inside out is a mistake. Is a mistake. Right. Leaving the iron on is a mistake. Because those weren't on purpose. Picking up yeah. wavy lays instead of playing <laughs> is a mistake. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. Like, stalking, then harassing, and ultimately, to me, assaulting someone, that's, mm -hmm. that's not a mistake. That's purposeful. Uh, since 2011, that city has had to pay out um, about $6 million in uh, police brutality lawsuits. You know what I'm saying? And guess where? And guess where that money comes from? It doesn't come from. It doesn't come from that law enforcement budget. No. Come from where? Taxpayers. Taxpayers. So you know, we got all these other subjects that get brought up. Right. You know. You know by a certain constituency. Mm -hmm. Talk about their religion is under threat, which it is not. Their guns are under threat, and what taxes? Mm -hmm. Their 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 fiscal responsibility, right. taxes. Mm -hmm. But where is this money coming from? That's coming. This this money is coming from the taxpayers. They were trying to abuse the power that they have. I want charges. 
I, I seriously want charges. I don't want I don't want these officers just to be uh you know uh, suspended for 30 days. Nah. No, 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 no. They tried to abuse their power. The, the one officer that had his hand in the door frame, mm-hmm. he needs to be held accountable. Oh, yeah. The guy that came out of the, ve- the, the the second officer that came out of his vehicle and said, I don't care. That doesn't matter. Did he even know what was going on? It, nobody knows. Like, <laughs> he wasn't informed he of the situation. Got, he just got out the car. Yes. He just got out of the car and just, just, just grabbed him up out of his home. Grabbed him out of his home and arrested him. And the mother of the gentleman that was filming, uh, his name is Antonio McLaurin. Her, his mother, like we said, she's a retired uh, uh, Baltimore police officer. And she said, I wore the uniform. I did this job, but I treated people as humans. She also said, I'm hurt. It's hard to describe. I can't imagine I, how she felt as as I'm, a mother I, I'm, of a child that went I'm through gl- that. I'm glad she stood up for, you know, justice. Yes. I'm glad she stood up. Now, but. let's see uh, the city stand up for justice. There is no police brutality in America. We ended that back in the 60s. Super PACs. Goldman Sachs. Man, yo, you know what, man? I don't like your tone. Tone down for what? If money in politics is a problem, who is it a problem for? I wish somebody would ask. Oh, you sound, you sound, you mad. I'm mad. 